making sure the comb is on the skin. Over we go. Coming around, tidy up the bum. Up the back. As you step onto the neck, this is the bit that's most important. This sheep thinks he's going to Jasper's Abattoir. We've got to get up here. The tom is collecting as we can inside. Up and out. You've heard the, you've heard the phrase, pull the wool over your eyes? Well, this is where it comes from. Up to the ear. Down. Around the back of the neck. Working the sheep around all the time. Coming off the shoulder. Around onto the long blow. Up the long blow. Now I've just missed a bit here to do it on purpose. This is what the, sheer, the wool industry does not want. That. That is no good. Too short for anything. So leave it on. Up you come, stepping over, one more time, coming up onto the long blow, oh, the, off the long blow onto the final side, over the shoulder, then you come, you can see how clean a job that is. I'm just going to show you with the blades now, do this last piece. The blade shearing did not stop because of the electric machine. In New Zealand, in the high country, they still blade shear today. Shear over 200 each man would. But as you know, in high country, one minute, you can have your shirt off. The next minute, the next minute, the weather can want to kill you. So it was important to come down and shear them with the blades. The blades allow for a little extra cover. And that's what will keep the sheep alive if, if, if a snowstorm comes in. They also shear in South Africa. The South Africans are world champions. They're ever up the Bath and West show at the shearing championships. Go and watch them, it's terrific. But as you can start to see the difference, there's almost a quarter inch of wool left there now. So that's what will protect them. But this would have been a lovely way of in a shed, quiet, with Terry Wogan playing. <laughs> Come around. Keeps quite quiet because there's no noise, there's no hampies. And as you can see now, a different shape. And as he gets up now, he's strong. There you can see the difference between conventional shear and here and probably what they would do in South Africa or New Zealand. I'll trim that up later.